McAfee. I'm Mike Ross. I work with Harvey. Oh, you're the protege that he's been gushing about. He was gushing? Well, he mentioned that you existed. For Harvey, that's gushing. Uh, he's running a few minutes late today. Um, car trouble. I was just about to have tea with the girls. Would you care to join me? I'd love to. Good. And for heaven's sakes, call me Joy. OK, Joy. These are the girls. Susie, Sarah, Stacy, Sinclair, and Sabrina. Susie, where are your manners? Shake hands with this nice young man. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just kidding. I know they're dolls. Oh. <laughs> they're named after my daughters. I started the company because of them, really. You know, dolls didn't used to be these cheap plastic bimbos from China that we have today. Your mother made them for you by hand. I wanted my girls to have that same experience. And here we are, 30 years later, every parent's worst nightmare. What do you mean? These little angels, they sell for $90 a pop. I wasn't born with a butler, you know. I gotta say, this is amazing. Taking on a project like a licensing deal. Why is that amazing? Well, my grandmother could never pull this off. She's been retired for 10 years. How is that treating her? She lives near my apartment. I get to see her once a week, so. That's very sweet of you. No. No, it's not. You know, whenever I needed her, she was there. You know, no matter what, she'd give me a hug. She'd tell me everything's going to be all right, <laughs> even if it wasn't. And now that she needs me, I am always at work. And I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Never answer your phone in front of a client. But it's you. What's happening? Well, actually, we're in the middle of a tea party. I knew you were the doll playing type. Put Joy on. Miss McAfee. It's Harvey. Joy, I'm sorry. I have to reschedule. No need to apologize. I like this one. I'll send him back after tea. Tell me you didn't ask our client for a doggy bag. What can I say? Stacy insisted. Just got off with Joy McAfee's general counsel. It seems she had an epiphany. She wants less on her plate, not more. I thought you were going to close her. We need that doll money. I'm on top of it. Harvey, it took five months to structure that deal. Please don't make me set fire to your desk. I... All you had to do was have tea with the dolls. Donna, schedule another tea party with Joy as soon as possible and text me the names of her girls. Oh, what a shock. You can't keep girls' names straight in your head. Just yours, Debbie. See, that's funny because your name is Donna. Harvey Specter, I got your order right here. I didn't order a pizza. You've been served. Cab driver hit Ray, named me as a witness in a civil suit. I need to pay Travis Bigel a visit. Harvey, if you let me go talk to Joy, I know I can no. fix this. You don't send a puppy to clean up its own mess. Optimally, you don't even have a puppy. Ross, rumor has it you talked to Klein at $200 million? The deal's not off the table, right? It's just a speed bump. Dude, I think we just found him a new nickname. Speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm back in high school. They called you speed bump in high school? <clears throat> Kidding. But if you need any boxes to pack up your office, ah. just... Hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, <clears throat> there. Think that belongs to you? It wouldn't hurt so much if you had thicker skin. 